So this is how I framed one of those three foot by four foot color engineering prints uh, on a wood frame. I made my wood frame 30 inches by 40 inches so I could wrap the print around the edges. I used two six foot one by two inch uh, pine boards. I used my table saw to cut down the boards. You could probably use a hand saw or even maybe a circular saw. I'm using these uh, trim head screws to screw together the frame. I love them. I don't have to pre-drill any holes. Maybe it's just because my wood is soft, but they've made this project much easier. Found the easiest way to attach these pieces of wood to make a good 90 degree corner is I put a little square in the corner and then I clamp down the pieces around that square and then I screw it in. It makes it really easy to uh, screw it in and get nice tight joints. Next I'm using some cardboard as a backer because this paper is really thin and I don't want it to get punctured. So I'm marking off the shape of the frame on the cardboard and then I'm going to cut it down. I know that you can order these engineering prints from Staples, but I went through Parabo Press. Uh, I thought the prints turned out really nice, and they recommend to get them flat, uh, to roll them the opposite way in the shipping tube. So that's what I'm doing to get it to flatten out a little bit. So I'm using this clear spray paint for two reasons. I'm going to apply it to the back of the print because I'm worried that the adhesive is going to soak through and mess it up. So I'm going to go real lightly with the spray paint, give it a uh, coating to make it a little more resilient. And then eventually I'm also going to use the same spray paint to spray the final product and give it a nice uh, shiny look. Once the spray paint is dry, I'm going to use this spray adhesive product to uh, attach the engineering print to my cardboard and frame. I thought this part of the project would be the hardest, but I really didn't have too much trouble. I tried to do about half the picture at a time and I applied the spray adhesive to both the cardboard and the back side of the print. As I went, I smoothed it out, and I tried not to use too much. I didn't want to have the adhesive soak through the print and, and ruin the picture. The paper is kind of thin. So you can't see it, but I placed a towel down on my table and then I flipped the picture over and I used the towel because a nice soft surface, keep, I didn't really want to mar up the picture. Now I'm folding the edges of the print over and around the side and onto the back so I can staple it down. Now I found that if I fold the paper It'll be a little bit thicker, and my, and my heavy-duty stapler won't uh, tear the paper as much. It'll hold a lot better. So as I'm going, I'm essentially wrapping this kind of like a Christmas present. I'm not very good at wrapping, but I was able to do this, so I think most people can handle it. When you get down to the last two sides, you may want to trim it to make the corners a little less awkward. There might be too much paper. However, 
like I said before, it's pretty much like wrapping a present. Pretty simple. Again, I encourage you to fold that paper over, double it up, triple it up. It will make it thicker and it, the staple won't punch through it quite as easily and it's going to really hold it on a lot better. To hang this, I just used some stuff I had on hand. I'm measuring 10 inches down from the top which is about a third of the way from the top and I'm going to put some little eye bolts and then run my picture hanging wire between them. To attach it to the eye bolt, I'm going to run it through the eye bolt a couple times and then wrap it around the wire and then back through the loop again and then wrap it down and I want that wire to be uh, loose enough so that it finishes off a couple inches below the top. Notice as I was flattening out the picture when I was gluing it down that I was getting little bits of toner coming off the picture so I brushed that off before I applied the spray paint. Now I applied multiple coats in different directions to get a nice even coverage. Make sure you don't put too much otherwise it's going to puddle up and not look very good. I also made sure to hit the edges so that it also had the same kind of uh, effect all over the picture. And that's it. I was able to get it down to under about 30 bucks uh, because I used a lot of materials that I already had at home. Good luck.